Hello, kindergarten. It is Mrs. Shivani from the Syracuse Academy of Science and Citizenship. How are you guys today? Well, I am ready to finish lesson 14, I think we're on today, right? Crazy, or lesson 15, I think we're on today. So we are about halfway done. I am so proud of all of the hard work you're doing. Today, um, if you have something to write with and write on, that would be great. We're going to, we are going to be practicing writing numbers four and five today. So you'll want something to write with, but if you don't have anything, that's okay. You can just follow along with me and we'll write in the air together, which is always fun. So today we will start off with our fluency warm-up. We'll do a quick application problem, our concept development, We'll talk about what we learned, and then you'll do your exit ticket, all right? Okay, let me share my screen with you, and then we will get started. Lesson module one, lesson 15, I was right, 15. We are going to work on ordering and writing our numbers four and five to answer how many questions, and we're gonna sort things by count, so by how many we have, and we're gonna make a cool graph, I'll show you. All right, let's warm up. Okay, let's play beep numbers. This is a fun game. Listen carefully as I count. Instead of saying a number, I'm going to say beep. You can follow along on the number path as I say it. And when you know what the beep number is, you can blurt it out, okay? All right, you ready? One, two, beep, four, what number did I beep? Three, yes, three. Okay, let's do another one. I might just start randomly. Six, beep, eight, nine. What number did I beep? Six, seven, eight, nine, yes. Okay, ready? Five, four, beep, two, one. This time I counted down. What number did I beep? Five, four, beep, three, two, one, good. All right, let's go move on to our next fluency warm up. Ooh, another birthday cake. Okay, so normally on a birthday cake, candles will show how old you are. So show me the cake for a one year old. Is it the first one, the second one, the third one, the fourth one, or the fifth one? The fourth one, yes, this one right here. Now show me the cake for a kindergartner. Usually you're five or you're a six when you're in kindergarten. Most people are five turning six. Some people come in six, which is cool too. Let's see, which one has five candles? One, two, three, four, five, this one. I'm gonna put this one over here. Now let's put the rest of them in order. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Now they're in order. One, two, three, four, five. All right, let's move on. Okay, so I have three circles here on the bottom. Two are blue and one is red. What is our number sentence? Three total circles. How many are blue? Let's write that together. Two are blue, right? Two. How many are red? Just one. Let's write one. So now we have our number sentence. Three equals three total circles. Two are blue. One is red. That's our number sentence. Good work. Okay, now we're going to play count, wait, and say how many. So count how many things are in the group that I point to. We have a group of apples. We have a group of fish. We have a group of uh, ladybugs or beetles. We have a group of stars and that's it. So when I point to it, I will give you guys a few seconds to count and then I want you to blurt out how many there are. And when we count each group, we'll show how many we counted by filling in these squares and you're gonna make a graph. So let's start with the apples. Count how many apples there are. Blurt. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Where's my six one? Down there. 
One, two, three, four, five. Oh, just those five. Silly Mrs. Shivani. We're not counting this one. This one is labeling which number we're counting. <laughs> there we go. Teachers make mistakes too, huh? So we have five apples on the side here, and we have five right here. One, two, three, four, five. So these squares, rep or these rectangles, they represent how many objects we just counted. All right, now let next, right here, let's count the beetles. And remember, only count the ones on that side, okay? All right, here we go. You count. For how many? Let's count together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Cool. Four beetles. All right, next, let's count these little fish. Here we go. How many? Yes. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five fish. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let last. Let's count the stars. You count. Blurt, how many? Three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so what did we have the most of? Looking at this graph, it's easy to tell, right? This graph tells me how many I have, and I can see that um, there are the same amount of apples and fish. That's the same number. Then we have four beetles and we have the least amount of stars. Good work. All right, now get out that pencil or whatever you have to write with or on. And if you don't have anything, that's okay. We can just use our, our fingers to write in the air. We're gonna practice writing the numbers four and then on the next page, we'll do the number five. So let me get out my pen. I'm gonna write in a cool green color. So let's practice writing the number four. First, we can do it in the air. Trace down the side, cross the middle for fun, top to bottom, and then you're done. So you have to pick up your writing utensil for this one. Trace down the side, cross the middle for fun, pick up your pencil, top to bottom, and then you're done. Okay, let's do it. Trace down the side, cross the middle for fun, pick up your pencil, top to bottom, just like the number one then you're done. Trace down the side, cross the middle for fun, lift, top to bottom, then you're done. Trace down the side, cross the middle for fun, top to bottom, then you're done. Trace down the side, cross the middle for fun, top to bottom, then you're done. Good, let's do the next one. Okay, now five. Whew. Five and two, they are some of the trickiest numbers in my opinion to write. So let's work on this five. Trace down the side, curl like that, back to the dot and give it a hat. Ooh, okay, let's try that one again. Trace down the side, curl like that, back to the dot and give it a hat. Okay, so two ways you can write this number really. You can go trace down the side, curve like that, then lift your pencil, go back to the top, and give it a hat. Let me show you that one again. Trace down the side, curve like that, then lift back to the top, give it a hat. You can do it like that. Or you can start here. You could, let's put a dot here, let's put a dot here. And you can start here. And you can say a hat, a neck, now make a belly. A hat, a neck, now make a belly. Either one of those is fine with me. I usually find that I do it like this, a hat, a neck, make a belly. But if you wanna do trace down the side, curve like that, back to the dot, give it a hat, that's fine too. Whatever works for you. This number is tricky, so don't worry. We'll keep on practicing it in our following lessons. All right, now let me show you your problem set for the day, okay? And we'll get to our exit ticket. Okay, so here we are. This one is pretty simple. You're going to count the stars. How many? 
choose, count the hearts, how many, choose, and then go back and think, are there more hearts or are there more stars? More hearts or more stars, and then you'll choose. That is your exit ticket for the day. So we counted our objects. We counted groups of five, four, three, and we practiced writing the numbers four and five. Good work today, guys. We will be back tomorrow with another fun math lesson. See you next time.